it's that time of season. No, I'm not on about Valentine's. I'm on about the 2020 car launches. So how is the first team to unveil their 2020 Challenger then? It's not the actual car, it's literally just delivery, but it's good enough. It is definitely launch season and it's, they're just going to be going thick and fast, especially next week. Haas that are actually going to launch their official kind of proper car. This is kind of just, I'm guessing the 2019 car but with added bits and if you're here for like some proper like in-depth kind of technical analysis of the track i'm not the person but i'll try to analyze as much as i can to my knowledge so we're going to be looking at delivery i'm going to tell you my, my thoughts and things like that and then i will we'll, i'll score it out of 10 let's get into this then so Obviously, we all we all knew pretty much that they were going to ditch the black and gold from the rich energy sponsor. I think Haas kind of want to forget that twenty nineteen even existed because it was it weren't great off track, was it? But it didn't get much better on it. Um, their car they constantly had problems. Obviously, Magnussen and Grosjean they had completely different opinions on it. Where Magnussen thought one spec was better and Grosjean thinking the other spec was better. But livery, they've gone back to kind of pre-rich energy. So they've gone back to what they were like in 2018, 17 and 16. And wow, it looks stunning. I, w I was a bit worried because I weren't really a fan of the Haas kind of liveries before last season. I really liked the black and gold. I know... Some people did. I don't think a lot of people actually really did. But let me know about that in the comments below. Um, did you like it? I personally, um, one of my favourite looking F1 cars was the 2012 Lotus. When that had like red on it and it was gold and it was black as well. That honestly to me was the 2013 Lotus. One of them too. That looks stunning. So last season I kind of, that was one of my favourite liveries of last season. Um, but this one, wow, just with how they've done it with the black and the white and the especially the red as well. The red really kind of makes the car kind of stand out, especially the Haas um, logo on the on the rear wing. And I really like what they've done with the front wing with the kind of um, how it's stacked up with to, to push the air kind of around the tyre. Um, but how it's kind of black, white, and then it goes into the red, that um, top kind of end plate. So the front of the car then we can see here it's kind of the kind of done it so it's all kind of black. Um it's sort of like what um from this first picture and it's sort of from this angle what um Renault did last year when they kind of had from the front it looked um, plain yellow and then from the side it looked black. Um but with also you can see with the suspension there's kind of these curves. There's also the bridge the barge boards, you can see the kind of teeth. Of course, this car gonna look nothing like obviously this is the actual 2020 car as well, it's literally just delivery. So, like I said at the start, it's pretty much the 2019 card with added bits. Of course, they kind of they want to keep things secret, so this car probably like nothing like it probably will when we get to testing. You can see on the back of the car, so we've got the kind of you got the the peak sponsor that they've had for I think this is the second year. Um, that kind of stands out more, um, and also on the, where the number is on the back, you can see there's kind of these lines on the black which look really nice. Um, you also got that I haven't actually realised this is this kind of a live reaction as you would, um, but how the black kind of bends round the the name Haas and with the red with the red. And then with the white as well, between the gaps, filling the gaps, looks very, very nice as well. The front, though, this is what got me excited, because look at this. This, it looks amazing. Um, of course, on the end of the front wing, you've got what all the teams have to abide by with the um, crash test. So you see that right on the tip of the kind of main plane of the front wing. 
Um, Haas though doing something different from what they've been doing. You can see um, just behind the front wing if you look at where the Haas logo is right on the tip of the front wing. You can see these kind of um, F duct kind of veins that's going to push air under the car and just add that extra downforce as well. And also you can see this kind of curves around the side of the front wing which, air, which aim to push kind of air around the tyre because the tyres create a lot of dirty air and the detail especially with the um with the mirrors as well um coat hanger thing in as well at the back of the car you can see um and it just looked very nice to be honest i didn't actually notice the halo when i first looked at this so the halo kind of goes into the design well it kind of blends in obviously from this angle with the front on it does look more kind of obvious but i think from the sides especially from the sides in fact um you can see kind of it looks like a 2017 car and um, in terms of not not having the halo um i really like the kind of the white and then how the red sits on it like the red especially around where the number is i really like that and um, people saying it looks like, kind of like a porsche um and I can kind of I can kind of see that this is sort of from the back you can see the sort of how round the car is of course all all teams kind of aim to have um with their side pods to have this kind of bottle kind of coke bottle um to really kind of get the tightest kind of package all the way around the engine to increase downforce and the aero of the car um, and that is looking very tight obviously Haas very very close to Ferraris they do get a lot of their parts from Ferrari I don't think as they get as much now as they did um, when they first came into the sport I think they are kind of doing most on their own I'm not too sure and there's in fact actually you can see there's some red on the kind of jack jack and jones sponsors as well you can see the lights on in this render looking deeper at the front wing you can see those um those slight gaps underneath the front wing are a lot better and you can actually this is something in fact even with the front wing i was saying how on the back where the number is you can see the kind of lines in the black there's also um on the front wing as well it kind of looks like kind of like police tape or whatever you want to call it Kind of looks like that if you was to have it yellow, but from this angle it looks very nice. So going back to the off board, you can see it looks very nice. A lot of white. Um, as I was saying at the start of the video, I'm not really a fan. I were I wasn't really a fan of the Haas liveries before 2019 with the black and gold. Um, I just think it kind of to me the Haas livery with the white and the black and the red, it always kind of looked like blocky. Um, and I didn't really like it, but this looks absolutely amazing. So overall, well done, Haas. Very, very, very good livery. Um, hopefully, they're kind of. It looks a lot. It looks like an American livery. I think it looks like America. Um, that sounds stupid, but I think Haas done a great job with this. A lot better i think it is probably the best livery i'm gonna have to say that over the black and gold one um so i think out of 10 i think out of 10 i'll give this livery a nine maybe and maybe a 9.5 but we'll go with nine so a nine out of 10 i'll give this i think it's very very nice the best kind of black white and red livery that they've done ever since I've been in the sport in 2016 and overall hopefully we get to see it up there a bit more fighting with McLaren if McLaren are even up there this year if McLaren start 2020 like they finished last season let me know what you'd give this out of 10 in the comments below do you like it do you not like it there's only one thing for certain it is the car launch season 
I will be trying to cover every single car launch. If there's multiple ones on one day, I might just cram them into one video. Um, but until the next one, I hope you enjoyed this. Something different for once. I'm looking forward to do a bit kind of more real life kind of F1 videos. If you're only around here, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you agree with my decisions and my kind of what what I gave it out of 10 let me know what you'd give it out of 10 as well but until the next video goodbye